Yo, what's up? It's that boy Sid McCloud. You now watching Different Views TV. You don't even matter. Catch me with a smile. Never a frown. Shit, you already know me and my niggas. Shit, we love the clown. Shit, put niggas looking funny. Shit, we start a crowd. I don't know. I ain't. I don't know. I can't even think of nothing else. Shit. Man, yeah, shit. It's motherfucking Different Views TV. It's your boy, Sid McCloud. Shit, we finna head to the motherfucking studio. Shit, I'm finna get this uh, beat in. Lil' Keys. It's Lil' Keys beat. Lil' Keys, if you watching this. My bad, nigga, for being a month late, my nigga. My phone broke. But I'm giving that shit to you today. Y'all already know where y'all at, SRS Recording Studio, it's your boy Bread Wells in here with my boy Sid McCloud, about to drop that ignorant, which better place to be but SRS Recording Studio, shout out Party Boy DS, you know what I'm saying, party! Cloud, Sam Cloud, what's good, man? What's good, man? So, tell everybody where you from, man. Shit, I'm originally from Baltimore, Kentucky. Shit, I stay in, but well, I really moved to Louisville. So that's why I stay majority of my life. But shit, you know what I mean? Houston, I've been in Houston for almost 10 years, so I grew up a little bit here, you know, a little bit everywhere. All right, you got any musical background, man? Shit, a little bit, yeah, shit. I had like little choir classes and shit like that. I had orchestra. I played first chair, trombone in middle school. Just a little bit here and there, but I don't remember. I don't be remembering shit. I don't, I, I, I can't read, read the music anymore. Nah, all right, man. I stay, I stay. I see you coming from. I see you got, you got a little something going, you feel me? Yeah, right. So, shit, what you um, so What's some of your biggest influence? Yeah, Yo, some of your biggest influences in this rap industry. Shit, Currency, Kid Cudi, so, uh, Mac Miller, R.I.P. Shit, really a little bit of everybody though, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really was enjoying music around like 2012, 2011, so, you know, Schoolboy Q, all that type of stuff, Kid from more else, that was like my era. I think about the hip hop right now, and this 2008 stuff going, man. Shit, hip hop right now, so, it's, it's cool, you know what I'm saying? I think it's cool just the fact that people get to eat, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's better, you know, people got more opportunities. You don't have to really just be out there just to, I mean, you do have to be out there, but you don't have to grind as hard. You know, we got more of an advantage than, you know, the people back in the day. Yeah. So I feel like it's at a good spot. And then, yeah, I just feel like, yeah, that's what I'm going to say. I feel like it's in a good spot. So what you think about these? What you think about the Houston rappers, Houston uh, rappers in Houston rappers, Kentucky rappers, man? What you think about them? That shit, Houston yeah. rappers. I fuck with Houston. I fuck with Houston. I like Houston music. It's it's, it's not the originality. It's just my shit. My cousin put me on that screw tape. I ain't even like when I first came down here. I didn't even like slow music like that. Uh, you know, I always like Three Six Mafia. I always like Slim Thug. Little flip, I always like used to be, but I ain't like, you know, just chop the screw until I really hear the screw type. I'm like, damn. This is, I, I fuck with this. It just puts you in the home of the zone. How would you describe your your style, man? Your style of music, you feel me, compared to everybody else's style? What, what, what makes your music different from everybody else's music? I can't really pinpoint on how it's different, but all I can really just say is just me, though. It's just, I get a little bit of everything. I get a little heightenedness, I get a little chillness, you know, so I can tell stories and stuff like that. Like, I can tell, like, my raps, I can make my raps into stories. So, you know, you can look at it like a movie if you really, you know what I'm saying? You have anything out right now or anything you're working on? So we got Trap Party 2 right now, me and Party Boy DS. I got SoundCloud that has some old tracks if y'all want to bump that. I'm finna have my EP. I don't know what the title is going to be yet, but it's coming. Shout out to my boy, Party Boy DS, and he finna drop some shit, so like a party for So what's some of your inspiration to write some of the rhymes that you write, man? 
Feel me? How do you come up with some of these rhymes, man? Like some of these crazy flows that you come up with? To really pinpoint everything, shit. Really the beat. I know it's gonna sound like some crazy shit, but to me, shit, the beat gonna give you the tone. It's gonna give you the hook already. Then you match the hook. Like, it's gonna give you the rhythm. Then you match the, uh, the words with the rhythm and shit. Then you just go off the top of it. All right, man. So tell everybody where they can reach you at. Contact you, man. Etc. Etc. D and you, the ladies. You feel me? So where, where, where can they get at, get at you at, man? Shit, hit me up on uh, on Instagram at Sid McLeod. S Y D underscore M C C L O U D. Uh, I got a Twitter at Doobie Snakes. D zero zero B I E B I E S N A C K Z. Yeah, that's on Twitter. Yeah, that's about it. That's all about it. Alright, man. So, this is Different Views TV. Live interview with that boy, Sid McCloud. You feel me? So, we go going to check out.